hi everybody so sorry if I am not the peppiest person um, it's been a long day Sawyer woke me up um, at 5 o'clock this morning and we have been up ever since I cleaned the house I did laundry we went shopping it was just a really busy day Ooh, excuse me so today or tonight I wanted to do a walkthrough of our family budget binder and the reason I have this binder is because I have a lot of um, not payments but financial goals that I want to reach and I'll touch base on those when I get to that page but um, I wanted to show you guys maybe inspire someone to start their own so this is a one inch binder and I did do it in green because green reminds me of money um, and if you are new to my channel, just know that I love binders. I have a binder for everything. So let's just quick get on into it. So when you open my binder, you have um, a pocket right here, which I put my checkbooks in. Um, but I have to order new ones because we moved and my old ones didn't match up. I have my money envelopes right here. I have my home deposit because that is one of my goals is to um, move out. And Sawyer's birthday party, which uh, I really need to start saving for. Which is why I did this binder. These are some extra papers which will be... Actually, I don't think they're in here. Um, this is for my mom to fill out. It is saying that I paid rent and car insurance on time um, and I want to keep this on record so if someone were to ask me how I am with payments I have all that stuff with me. So I just typed that up myself in Microsoft Word. If you have Mac you can use whatever um, those computers have on them that's equivalent to Microsoft Office. So going forward we get to the first tab which is year at a glance and the first page is our financial goals so goal one is to save for a new car because i desperately need one um goal two is to save to move out and goal three is to save for sawyer's birthday party so um it says what the time frame of that should be and um the action steps that i'm going to take to get that done so i filled it out and then i have a calendar of november in dark green is when I gain money so whenever I get child support um, from my dad um, and payday those are in dark green light green is spending things that I'm gonna have to spend on like big purchases so I know that that will be coming out and then red is a bill due and the only two bills I really have is rent to my mom and car insurance so next is December um, I just did November, December for right now, filled in all of the gaining money, the spending money, and the bill due, um, and I will print out the rest of the year um, when I need it. Next is bills. This is the next tab. And in here I have um, reoccurring expenses. Uh, so yearly I have my car inspection. It's usually due in May. And then quarterly I don't have anything. Monthly I have car insurance and rent. I put the amount, the day due, and then check it off for each month. After that I have a monthly check in. So at the end of each month I write things I did well, things I can improve on, and then goals for the upcoming month. So I have I think 12 of those. So it goes from November 2015 to November 2016 over here. Next um, tab is savings and I have a savings account log so whenever I deposit um, money into my savings account or I withdraw money from my savings account I will put it in here so I know how much I have in my savings account at any given time. Um, granted I can see that online but I figure to have it on paper I can flip this open and know within seconds. And the next one is spending. The spending tab has my monthly spending. I think it's important to know where your money is going. So each month, I'm starting in December, I will be writing what I spend my money on, whether that be gas, if I have to get stuff for Sawyer, and just kind of add it up. Um, so I know how much I'm spending extra each month and where it's actually going. And I think this kind of makes you accountable for where your money is going to. So I kind of recommend everyone to do that. So this goes from December 2015 
to November of 2016. And the last little tab is debt. I do have debt, I'm not gonna lie. It's from when I was gonna go to school last time. Um, I still have to pay back um, the money that I owe, which I think is only like $600. So I have that. I have the, um, the kind of debt I have, which is my college payback, uh, the total amount, which I need to look up, minimum payment, um, and the interest rate. And then I put in when I deposit money. So that's basically it. I have some extra financial goal paper back here, as well as the reoccurring um, bill paper, and then some extra tabs if I have to change the name of some tabs. So that is my budget binder or my financial binder. Uh, I'm going to be using it full time starting December 1st, but I wanted to share it with you guys before I actually put some personal information in here. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys are inspired to do your own financial or budget binder and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.